Welcome to another episode of Realtors React where Ryan and myself react to famous real estate content. Well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put This is a normal meeting for us on a Tuesday. I mean, the human resources department probably doesn't exist here. No. And if it, you just can't talk this way nowadays. <laughs> The bad news is you've got all you've got just one week to regain your job, starting with tonight. Starting with tonight's sit. Talk about accountability. God, these days agents couldn't handle it. Oh no, 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 no. The agent of this day? No way. Would be gone. Their mind isn't strong enough to handle it. Serving in BJ's. I mean, obviously this is an extreme example this of is a, a of This an is an old school sales movie. Aggressive old school sales movie. These days you can't talk to people like that. You can't get aggressive, you can't really cuss, you certainly can't smoke in the office. I mean, no. I guess you could smoke in the office, but no one's doing that. Bottom line though is, I will say, sales meetings are important. Finding ways to motivate your agents and your team is important. Scare tactics don't really work like they used to work in the 80s and the 90s. But I will tell you one thing, let's talk about closing. Because a lot of times people associate closing with something negative, like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna close this person, which might sound salesy in right. a way that you're gonna say like, oh, I'm gonna force them to buy something they may not wanna buy, but we like always talk say- Talk them into it. Yeah, yeah, but it's not. Closing is just a natural end to a <clears throat> sales conversation. And all you're saying is, is now that we've had the chance to talk, are you interested in buying? Are you right. interested in moving forward? So it's just the close to a conversation, but most people just associate closing with, oh, a pressure tactic, and it's not. Someone's getting closed in the conversation one way or the other. It is, right? Either the client's closing the agent or the agent's closing the client. Yep. But the bottom line is, is most agents' closing strategy is, so what do you think? Right, versus, yep. hey, we've seen four houses, and this one meets all of your needs. Are you, are ready? you ready to submit an offer? Are you ready to submit At an offer? At what price do you want to submit an offer? That's a close. You're just asking them a direct question and leading the client mm -hmm. to what they want. We know what they want. We've done our due diligence. Now let's close and let's submit the offer. Mm -hmm. Most people need to be led. And the challenge is most agents and most salespeople, they're not leading. No. They're, they, they, they forget to ask for the business and go in for the close, quote unquote, yep. right? Yeah. You guys are like, <laughs> talking like this to each other? Oh yeah, but we don't, we, you know, we have a, a pretty nice camaraderie in our office and team, but I you feel know, like if I talked like this <laughs> in my team, everyone would leave me. Yeah, you probably would. <laughs> everyone would leave me. Like these guys have no better option or nowhere else to work, but here to get yelled at by Baldwin? Smoking a cigarette? God, that office must stink. We don't really focus on screwing each other or stabbing each other in the back. It's more so it's against the opposition. Or, or, or the scenario, Or the right? scenario. Like it's more estate. of a venting situation where right. there can be some choice colorful words and I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've had a few in the office before, but not necessarily at a team member. It's it's right. you know about the situation. Well, real estate is a, a, a challenging industry and it's a very, the highs are high, the lows are low, Extremely. and sometimes you have highs and lows in the same day. Yeah. And, and sometimes you just lose it yeah. because the, the other agent's complicating the situation or your client that you're working with is being, is, difficult. Is, is being difficult. And we try to have empathy. Um, that said, real estate can definitely press your buttons. It's an emotional roller coaster. It is, it's not for the fainted heart. No. And this new market is gonna test a lot of people. And we do anticipate a oh. large portion of agents leaving the business because they won't be able to handle the heat. 100%. This looks like a squad room more than it looks like an office, but- yeah, It looks like an old police station. That's what I'm saying. Is that what you meant? Squad, squad room. Ah. Get it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Anybody he's else? Like, he's no? like a detective. Yeah, so, but real estate office nowadays have become a lot more modern, a lot progressive. They do have desks to kind of sit out in the open like that. They'll be bunched together maybe. There might be little multiple cubbies or offices or cubicles. Um, the layout's just been updated and modernized a little bit. Yeah. I think every company is different, right? Yeah. So you've got, it, it, it all comes down to the culture of the brokerage or the team. So some of the older brokerages and teams might have cubicle set up where everybody has their own space. The newer, the new wave, the millennial style is that we work vibe where people love the open concept. Yeah. Um, then there's hybrid workspace where you have like work environment slash residential living environment and you kind of mesh the two together. So it really comes down to what does the brokerage culture look like yeah. and what does the team leader culture look like and then that spreads into what the office space looks like. Yeah. This is a very outdated 
approach. I would say that most real estate offices <laughs> don't look like this. No, no, not anymore.